Good afternoon. Typhoon Kanun has made landfall on the southeast coast of the Korean Peninsula this morning. And it is going to pass through the entire nation, bringing heavy rain and strong winds along the way. We go straight over towards Hong Yujin. Yujin, now you're in one of the regions forecast to be heavily affected. How's it looking over there? Yes, hello, Gyeongwon. I'm currently on the east coast of the country in Samcheok City, Gangwon-do province. And as you can see, a heavy rain as well as strong winds have been pouring down here since very early morning. So with all this relentless rain and wind, I can just say that there's really no point in wearing a raincoat or carrying an umbrella. And this place, currently, trees are wobbling as well as street lights. And because of all of this extreme weather conditions, most stores nearby have closed. And all this, uh, the weather conditions have to an extremely brutal after Typhoon Kanun made its expected landfall in the country this morning. So according to the Korea Meteorological Administration, Typhoon Kanun landed in nearby Goje City, Gyeongsangnam-do province at around 9.20 a.m. And after reaching the peninsula, it is currently moving upwards and will cut its way through the country. So the entire nation is expected to be under the typhoon's influence by tonight. And during this time, most parts of the country will experience between 100 to 200 millimeters of rain and in this region eastern Gangwon-do province particularly it can receive up to a whopping 600 millimeters of rainfall and in terms of winds gusts are expected to reach about 35 meters per second which is capable to bring down trees as well as derailing trains all right now how is the country responding Yes, well, typhoon alerts have been uh, issued nationwide since 7.30 a.m. today. And I can just say that the entire nation is really on high alert because we're expecting heavier rain and stronger winds to persist throughout the day, especially after the typhoon made its expected landfall. And because last year we experienced so much damage from typhoon Hindemnor, which took away the lives of 11 people. So thankfully, latest data from the Interior Ministry as of 11 a.m. today shows that no casualties have been reported for the typhoon this year yet and in response for safety more than 10,600 people have evacuated from their homes for safety as well as over 300 flights across the nation being canceled for the day but it's not just the skies that are being affected by the typhoon dozens of sea routes roads and hundreds of hiking trails have been closed off since yesterday and with really safety as the utmost top priority kindergartens and schools in affected regions are also taking precautionary measures such as closing down for the entire day, shortening school hours, and switching to online classes. So the nation's Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasures Headquarters during its meeting this morning ordered heads of local disaster headquarters to really stand by around the clock until the typhoon passes. It also urged that the evacuation of residents who are living in flood or landslide-prone areas should be able to done immediately once emergency looms. That's all I have for now. Back to you, Kyung-Wen. Thank you, Eugene, for the reporting. Do stay safe.